interesting story. I had a lot of ups and downs. And the short version of it is that I started out working in-house at different companies. And then I moved into the agency model. And when I became eventually the CMO of a web design agency in Manhattan, that's where I really started to explore how I could productize digital marketing for a variety of companies. And when I left that company, I left on very good terms. And in fact, they became one of my clients when I started Consorte Marketing. That's when I transformed how I started to help people and, and how I scaled it. And in the beginning, it was an adventure. It was exciting. It was fun. I'm like, wow, this is new. We're growing so fast. We're getting all these clients. But something happened. I grew too fast. I had too many clients. I had too many employees. I had too much overhead and too little time. And it drove me crazy. And after doing that for a number of years, I just couldn't take it anymore because I had all of these skills that I was able to utilize and help people with in growing their companies. But one of the skills that I didn't have at the time was just the sort of leadership style that I have today. And what that means is that with all of these clients, I was probably servicing 40 or 50 clients simultaneously at the peak of that company. And I was their point of contact, every single client. And at the time, I just wasn't good at shifting responsibility to other people and empowering people to just really own these relationships. I didn't know how to do that at the time. And so I ended up with just more work than I could handle. And I had to shut my doors. And I took a couple of years off and just retooled my mind and just worked on myself and, and just feeling better. I was in a very dark place at that time. And I needed to figure out what went wrong. And what I realized was that I had lost my sense of purpose. I was doing so much work for so many people that I didn't stop and take time out to think about what I wanted and where I wanted my life to go. And so I realized that I broke, if, if you ever read Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, I broke rule number seven, sharpen the saw. I was so busy sawing wood all day long for all of these companies that I didn't take time out to say, okay, how can I make my life better? How can I make my company better? How can I make this a better place for the people who worked at my company? I didn't do any of those things. And I actually became a very bad leader. I, I was miserable and it showed and my staff saw it and it made them miserable. And it was the right thing to do at the time to shut my doors and figure out how to just reboot this whole thing. And what I realized during this time off was that I need purpose in the work that I do. It needs to feel meaningful. I need to feel like everything I do, whether it's for myself or for other people, brings value to the world. And when I rebooted, uh, that was a whole process. Maybe I'll go into that in the next piece. But long story short, I'm very intentional about the clients that I bring on today. So one of my biggest clients is a health and wellness company. When I went through this dark period, I put on a lot of weight. I just wasn't eating right. I wasn't exercising right. I wasn't doing all of the things that I should be doing to keep my mind and my body healthy. And having this wellness company as one of my clients really made me realize that I need to focus on these things. And it made me realize that the work I do can bring joy and purpose to other people's lives. So when I grow this business for this wellness company, and we're doing well, by the way, I know that I'm bringing more happiness into the world. And that gives me a sense of fulfillment with the work that I do. And I have other clients too. And, and as I said, I'm very intentional about the clients that I bring on. I wanna make sure that the kinds of projects I work on fall into the value to the world? Am I helping people find their own purpose in life? If I can do that and I can get paid for it, that's awesome. And so that's where I am today is I have these, uh, I have far fewer clients that pay far more and I'm happier. And the work I do is just very fulfilling. 
and I think that one of the things that makes it so fulfilling is I've become more in incremental in the way that I think about how I grow as a person and as a company. Uh, I'm a very big believer in becoming 1% better every day. And so every day when I work for my clients or I work on my own personal projects, I think about what can I do that makes their business better, that makes my business better, that makes my life better, or the lives of their customers better. This is the way that I view the world today.